question is there are two bulbs of 500 watt and 200 watt rated as 250 volt will have the resistance ratio so what we have we have the two bulbs with the different power rating and uh, 250 volt so we have to find out the resistance ratio let's suppose that first of all we write on the data that we have p1 is equal to 500 volt watt this is p1 p2 is equal to 200 watt and that is rated voltage that means the voltage for both bulbs remain same so p1 is equal to a2 that is equal to 250 volt so what we have to find we have to find the resistance ratio the ratio of resistance ratio that means we have to find r mode of r2 so this is we have to find okay we know that there is the formula for the power p is equal to iv and we also know that v is equal to ir so here we can drive the different formula of the power as if we put the value of r that is equal to v over r so if you put the value of i here that will be v over r into v that will become v square over r so what we have we have the power and voltage and we have to find out the resistance ratio so for that we have we can use this formula p is equal to v square over r so that we can find out the value of r1 and r2 so if we find out the formula for r that will become r1 is equal to v1 square over p1 and for r2 it will become v2 square over p2 so we have to find out r1 over r2 so the formula becomes v1 square over divided by v2 square over p2 so we know that v1 is equal to v2 that is equal to v and that is equal to 250 volt so we can put this value here r1 and r2 is equal to v square over p1 so if we convert it into multiplier that P2 divided by B square. So B square, B square will be cut down. So R1 will be R1 over R2 will be equal to P2 over P1. So now we can find out the value of R1 over R2 that will become P2 over P1. So what is P2? P2 is equal to that is equal to this. 100 volts so 200 volt 500 volt that will be cancelled so r1 ratio r2 is equal to 2 ratio 5 so here we have the option c r third option is the right the 2 ratio 5 so in this way we can solve this one So the question is which one of the following can have negative temperature coefficients so we have to find out that uh, which of the following has negative temperature coefficients for that we have to know that what is temperature coefficient so there are the three types of the temperature coefficients first is positive second is zero and the third is negative so positive temperature coefficient means the rise in resistance with rise in temperature
मीन्स अगर हम टेम्परेचर बढ़ाते हैं तो उसकी रेजिस्टेंस भी बढ़ती है इसको हम कहते हैं पॉजिटिव टेम्परेचर कोफिशेंट और अगर हम टेम्परेचर बढ़ाते हैं ये कम करते हैं लेकिन उसकी रेजिस्टेंस पे कोई भी फर्क नहीं पड़ता तो उसको हम कहते हैं कि इसका टेम्परेचर कोफिशेंट जो है वो ज़ीरो है नो चेंज इन रेजिस्टेंस वाइल अगर हम बात करें नेगेटिव टेम्परेचर कोफिशन मीन्स डिक्रीज इन रेजिस्टेंस विद राइज इन टेम्परेचर वी टॉक अबाउट देर एग्जाम्पल्स वी कैन से दैट द पॉजिटिव टेम्परेचर कोफिशन द बेस्ट एग्जाम्पल्स आर मेटल्स In metals, the temperature coefficient is positive. If we talk about that, why the metals have a positive temperature coefficient? Let's suppose that we have the wire of metal. We know that the uh, the number of uh, free electrons are available in metals, due to which the conductivity of metals are good because of these free electrons. So when we heated it up, a uh, rise in temperature. basically we have increases the kinetic energy of electrons that means their electrons move faster and their motion is random due to which they collide to each other which increase the hurdle in another word their resistance is increases with rise in temperature so the temperature coefficient is positive now if we talk about the example of uh, zero temperature coefficient that means there is no change in resistance with rise or fall of temperature magnesium is in compound magnesium is in element which temperature coefficient is zero because their resistance doesn't change with rise or fall of the temperature now if we talk about the negative temperature coefficient that means the fall or decrease in resistance with rise in temperature semiconductors and electrolytes our best example of the negative temperature coefficient because in semiconductor we have number of pair of electrons and holes when we increase the temperature the kinetic energy of electrons increases which means the pair break down with the rise in temperature which increase the number of free electrons due to which their conductivity is increases that means their resistance is decreases with rise in temperature so semiconductors are the example of negative temperature coefficient and the same thing is happen with electrolytes because it depend upon the number of free ions when we increase the temperature their number of free ions increases like in batteries so the electrolytes have also the negative temperature coefficient now if we see about the options compound of silver silver is a metal that means it has positive temperature uh, coefficient liquid metals again has uh, positive temperature coefficient metallic alloys has positive temperature coefficient electrolytes is the only option which has negative temperature coefficient sorry so that is the option that we have to find the negative temperature coefficient
question is nichrome is wire of an alloy means ke nichrome kis metals ke milne se jo hai hum nichrome ki alloy banate this is a theoretical option this is the combination of nickel and chromium nickel and chromium is the combination of nichrome alloy so option 3 is the right one nickel and chromium if we want to remember this is nichrome nickel plus chromium the next question is the resistance of the human body is around hum ye batane hain ki human body ki jo resistance hai wo kitni hoti hai to human body ki jo resistance hai wo hoti hai exactly agar values ki baat kare to hamare paas 300 ohm se 1000 ohm tak jo hamare paas hai wo resistance hoti hai so mostly ye question pucha jata hai that uh, what is the resistance of the human body it is 1000 ohms and in another word you can say that 1k ohm so here the option is number 4 1000 ohm the next question is an electric filament bulb can be worked from this is supply only ac supply only battery supply only or all of above to hum ye batane ki jo hamare paas electrical filament bulb hota hai wo kaun si supply next question is an electric filament bulb can be worked from so electric bulb ke related bahut se questions hote hain jo puche jate hain humse like इलेक्ट्रिक बल्ब के अंदर जो हम फिलामेंट यूज़ करते हैं वो किस मेटल का बना होता है इसकी सराउंडिंग में कौन सी एयर होती है और इसको इन्वेंट किसने किया तो इसको इन्वेंट करने की अगर बात करें तो दैट वाज इन्वेंटेड बाय एडिसन एंड इफ यू टॉक अबाउट द फिलामेंट मटीरियल फिलामेंट इज मेड फ्राम टंगस्टन दैट इज वेरी हाई मेल्टिंग पॉइंट like its melting point is 36 degree definitely uh, we have to use a material which has high melting point so tungsten is the best material that we have used and the next question is which air is filled if uh, in incandescent bulb there is vacuum that we mostly use but if we fill some gas in them that is definitely from noble gas like uh, और अगर हम इसके अंदर कोई गैस वगैरह यूज करते हैं तो मोस्टली फ्रॉम नोबल गैसेस होती है लाइक कार्बन वगैरह तो द क्वेश्चन इज द इलेक्ट्रिक फिलामेंट बल्ब कैन वर्क ऑन डीसी सप्लाई पे भी वर्क कर सकता है एसी सप्लाई पे भी करता है बैटरी इज आल्सो ए डेफिनेटली ए डीसी सप्लाई सो द ऑप्शन इज ऑल ऑफ अबव सो इट कैन वर्क ऑल ऑफ अबव the next question is the sa unit of power is it is a theoretical option theoretical question this is what the sa unit of the power is what you want to the formula of the power p is equal to i v we can write p is equal to i r so then we can make three formulas this is one And then if we for put the value of v here, p is equal to i into v is equal to i, and that will become i square r. This is the second formula, and p is equal to. If we put the value of i, i is equal to v over r. 
So v over r into v that will become p is equal to v square over r. This is the third one. The unit of is what denoted by w. Next question is the resistance of the two wires is 25 ohm when connected in series and 6 ohms when connected in parallel. The resistance of the each wire is okay. Our uh, question is two resistance. Hai. Wo hai ke jab hum unko series mein connect karte hai, uska resultant hai, paas 25 ohms and if we connect it connect karte hai, parallel, to us waqt hai, uska resultant jo hai, wo, Six ohm hai to hume batana hai ki uski har wire ki resistance ya dono wire ki resistance kaun kaun se hai so isko hum ek formula se bhi solve kar sakte hain but it will be better if we use the option for example if we choose uh, see the first option 10 and 15 if they are connected in series means 10 plus 15 that is 25 no in parallel the product of 2 divided by sum of 2 divided by sum of 2 that will be equal to 150 and that will be equal to 25 that means 3 5 0 and this is 6 so option is first because if they have said that if connected in series is 25 and connected in parallel it is 6 so this is right so we can choose this one 